This is the quiet and serene period between summer and leaf peeping season. So it's nice and peaceful, no traffic, no crowds, the perfect time for an adventure. We're headed about an hour north of Manchester to Newfound RV Park in Bridgewater, which is not far from Newfound Lake, known to be the cleanest lake in all of New Hampshire and quite possibly one of the cleanest lakes in the world. Off this exit was something we did not expect. This may not seem like a lot of traffic, but if you're trying to turn left while towing an RV, you may wanna check yourself and make sure you packed your patience. Because if you hit this exit just right, you might be here for a few minutes. Another thing to be aware of is our GPS told us we had arrived, so we thought we missed it and pulled over at the fire station to turn around. But after looking at our map first, we realized we didn't pass it, so we kept going in the same direction and we found it right down the road. Here, I'm gonna walk around to the other side of the sign so you can read it better in the shade. Feel free to pause this video if you need to write down any contact information because we're gonna keep moving into the park. This right here is how I knew we chose the right spot. It doesn't quite look like a heart from this angle, but it is the rock in the bottom left corner. This campsite is number 19, so keep that in mind if you wanna book this exact spot. There is another heart at this campsite that I'm gonna show you in just a minute. But first I wanna show you what is to the left of our campsite, this walking bridge. We're gonna check that out tomorrow. The sun is starting to set, so we'll go when it's light out. I'm gonna head back to the RV and show you that other heart. Looking out this window, you can get an idea of the distance between us and our neighbors at Site 18. That's the direction we're headed to check out the walking bridge. I'm also gonna show you around a little bit too. But first, coffee. While listening to the sound of a babbling brook, which by the way, you can hear from inside when the window's open. And there's a peek at our neighbors on the other side. When I made our reservations 48 hours before we showed up, the campsites on either side of us were still available. So it seems like we're not the only spontaneous ones here. Even if you book one of the campsites that's not near the brook, you can still come here and relax and enjoy the sound of the water. This is the end of the loop. You can see that beige building ahead is where we started. There are a few tent camping sites over here. This one is right by the brook.
Here's an occupied pull-through site, and if you look beyond these empty pull-through sites, you'll see what I call the parallel parking sites, and those have nice lawn areas between your camper and the trees. There's also a playground, which is right across from the office slash store. Now, if the RV park store does not have what you need, there is a country store nearby, and they have everything, including gas. We're taking a drive around Newfound Lake, and I'll show you a couple more points of interest in case you want to do some exploring outside of Newfound RV Park. Wellington State Park is an option for swimming and other outdoor fun. We didn't go in this time. If we had, there would have been a $5 admission fee. So if you plan on going, make sure you have money with you. We did stop at Gray Rocks Conservation Area. I could have spent all day here. There was no admission fee. I'll show you around a little bit before we head back to the RV park, and then I'll give you my thoughts on our overall experience with our stay at Newfound RV Park. We're back at our campsite, it's the next day. It's also our last day at Newfound RV Park. We had two nights here, they went by so fast, so a longer stay would have been nice. This was actually our very first RV camping trip ever, and I think this place was wonderful. The park is clean and quiet, the owners are nice, everything worked properly. What drew me to this place was that even though there are modern amenities, it didn't look commercial, it seemed very primitive, and like a genuine in the woods of New Hampshire experience. We did learn a lot during this camping trip, especially as two people who are planning to transition to this lifestyle full time. I'll share more about what we learned in another video coming up very soon. In the meantime, if you would like to learn more about this RV park, you can check out their website. I left it in the description below for you. And if you'd like to follow our journey, feel free to subscribe.